Hi guys, I'll, uh, I'll leave it a, f a few minutes, but I just want to let you know I'm live here now at 30 East Drive, the, uh, the famous poltergeist house in Pontefract, West Yorkshire. And if you want, you can all come down and uh, pay a visit today. Uh, East Drive Paranormal, who's running the, the event, are actually going to be here for another few hours. It's five pound in, and it, all proceeds go to charity. So it's for the um, it's basically for two charities: uh, kidney and also cancer. So it's a very good cause. You can come and get a cup of coffee and some buns. And what I'm going to do in a few minutes, once Phil from East Drive Paranormal comes out, he's going to take us on a bit of a walk through the actual house so you guys can actually see what's happening and what happens in the house and believe me I've just been here already for about an hour or so and somebody's been scratched so we'll uh, see if, if anything happens while we're having a walk through there is uh, other members of the public who's paid to come to this event here as well so there's a f probably about 10 or 15 people in the house uh, it's uh, a free bedroom but we'll go through each place and Phil will tell us a bit about it, what happens and uh, what we're doing. Hi Shane, uh, I'm not sure who said that because it says GSI West Yorkshire but um, hi, whoever it is who's watching. But Phil's going to come out soon and that, this is basically the area, it's just in the middle of an housing estate. So as soon as, uh, as, soon as Phil's ready, I'll take you on a bit of a walk through the house. So we're just waiting for Phil. I think he's uh, he's just uh, grabbing himself a coffee or something. Uh, I'll just give a few people. Hello, Neil. Hello, Vicky. Yep. Already, someone has been scratching this house. Uh, uh, probably a 15-year-old child, and it's a bit of a weird room. It's a back corner bedroom in the, the far back of the house. Uh, <laughs> that direction. Um, as soon as you walk in the room, the rest of the house isn't too bad. That you walk in that room, my stomach just turned instantly, and I just sense something's not right. And then basically proved us right because about half an hour later, she's got a bit of a, a massive red mark all the way down her face. Hello, Sophie. So, um, is Phil about? Ah, he's coming. He's on his way through, so I'll just give a few more people a chance to join in. But again, afterwards, this will automatically upload, so uh, we'll go through. Oh yeah, uh, Neil says hi. I'm. Uh, hi. It's uh, this is uh, hi to Claire. Uh, she'll be coming to an hour events, but I just want to introduce you now to uh, Phil. Phil Bates. He's part of uh, East Drive Paranormal. So he's going to basically take us through the house because he knows a hell of a lot more about the house than I do. And then uh, we'll, if you want to come and join us, come down and uh, see the yep. house for yourself. We're here all day. Yep, very good charity. All for a good cause. Fire, yep. cup of coffee. Yep. So I'll change the camera mode now so you can basically see Phil. And then uh, there we go. So you just put it on mate. So basically so you're walking into the doors of uh, the infamous 30 East Drive in Pontefract. We're inviting you all to come down for a cup of coffee, private entrance. I'll go into a good cause. This is a famous coal house, isn't it? Famous coal house. This is the coal house that Joe got locked in. Pretty sultry. All I get when I'm walking here, like, it's full of real coal, but. And as you can see, we do it. Just have a good look at that door. Even to the fact that we've got no locks on it. No locks on it whatsoever. It's just a normal box standard door. But yet when Joe, when he got locked on it, he couldn't get out. I loved the money. It said when he come out of here, totally changed man. Didn't want to stop in house. No more. <laughs> we have in the little back place here, which at the minute we've got all the stuff, we've got all the photos. Just want to have a panel on all the photos, that's stuff that's been taken in this property. 
I don't know if you can see because of the shining from, from behind but that's the stairs which will go up in a bit and the, you can practically make out it's a pretty undeniable picture that one If you look over in the corner here there's the picture of the one that was taken in the bedroom door of Philip's yeah, bedroom uh -huh. You can see that in corner That's freaky that, 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 photo, that photo has actually been verified that it's been checked it's, there's no fakery with that photo or anything that has been that has been checked Keep going the maps and everything else that you've got. Yeah, it shows you a bit about the. Uh, that's a historic map, I believe, isn't it? What what, what was actually here before the house? Cause you <laughs> told me a bit about it earlier. A certain gentleman did some research for his book and whatnot, and it was discovered that there was actually a cross on this place. It was an orchard. Uh, certain few of us believe that where the coal house is now that would have been an entrance possibly to what was the croft we do know that there was a well on the site that is documented on the plans of the croft back in the 70s the well opened up that's when the trouble restarted again yeah if we're going to what is the i know it's a bit hot like yeah there's a few people here that yeah. This is a kitchen area. Yeah, there's, there's a few people in here. Um, it's live on Facebook. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go in that. Sorry. Now, this is the fireplace. Now, originally, this would have been an open fireplace. And this is where the infamous keys come down. Where the keys come from? They are not the original keys, by the way. They're not the original keys. They have just been watched and put in to make it authentic. Yeah. Uh, this chimney has been swept numerous amounts of times, but the keys never materialised. We have to ask why, but all of a sudden, one particular day, 19 keys fell. From the chimney. It's strange. It's good. Hi, Kieran, by the way. Yeah, been put in house piano. We've had the piano playing occasionally on its own. There's quite a lot of things on it because it's for a charity, so there's obviously um, there's charity raffles and things where you can win prizes, but that's basically what's happening. And here we come into the living room, and a lot of people on the net have not seen in the house, but we come into the living room. In the corner of the house is to where the TV is now. Change the camera again. It'd have been where the well was. The well straddles both sides of the property. It's more into the next door than what it is into this side. The well opened up in the 70s. Sorry. Floorboards. We have all sorts of activity happening in this place. Marbles appearing from nowhere through, getting thrown. Smells, there's that many smells coming in this place. Sometimes you don't know whether you're coming or going. No. I saw somebody get scratched there. He was sat on this end, wasn't he? Yeah. His arms on his knees. And he was, the scratches appeared on his back. Yeah. There was no way he could have done it himself. No. We've had knives. Been plunged into the radio. Yeah. If you're back, you still got it there. So nice we're like just sticking nice. into the radio. Yeah, we don't like nice in house no more. We have Bibles. They don't like the Bible. Shit Bibles about. <laughs> then we get to his infamous stairs. It is getting pretty busy in here now, so if you do want to come down, yeah, you know, keep yourselves down. Here's what we've got left of the mirror, which was originally at the bottom of the stairs, but that got pulled off. Twine was snapped. Yeah, I've tried to already pull this twine today and it's impossible without scissors or a knife or something. And, and it's just totally snapped. At the time, that was underneath. And you can actually see the marks as to where 
it landed. Hi, Sean. We're at Thirty East Drive, by the way, and you can uh, you can come down if you're if you're living local. Um, they're here. It's for a charity. It's just five pounds to come in and then uh, have some coffee, have some cake. Uh, and uh, all proceeds are going to charity, that's why I'm working with East Drive Paranormal today just to go around the house and show you what's actually happening here and we have had activity, even though it's a daytime, someone has been scratched on the face as well today so it's uh, from the stairs. These are the ones that most aunts have got dragged up We won't go down that avenue, no. but a lot of people we always advise anybody that comes into the house, keep your footing on the stairs because people have Help. been pushed. Can you just come keep your hands on the I can do it, just do it just a minute. Oh, good. We have had people pushed downstairs, so we advise anybody that wants to come in, to keep your footings on the stairs. You know, we had an incident a couple of months back with two coppers. Oh, we totally dismissed everything that was happening in the house. Certainly had a different train of thought after the left of property. Someone nearly fell, but that didn't look like it was paranormal to me. <laughs> That's the famous clock we all thought we were going to fall over last Halloween. Are you alright now? You got scratched, didn't you? you? You want to talk about it? No. I'm just with, the, uh, with someone here who got scratched a bit earlier. In here. I'm not This is uh, and this is what we're doing for the train. We've got a few people here now. We have the ethereal running. We have books coming through it. Yeah, Has it been entertaining? Yeah. It's basically a, a ghost box and uh, it's set up to come through a speaker so everyone can hear what's going on. We're there till about 2-3 o'clock-ish if you want to come down, Sean. And in the cupboard. Oh. Right. Normally in this bedroom we get a lot of activity coming from that cupboard. I don't know where it's you know, the side side it is. <laughs> no, it's not in there, it's a boiler. Yeah. This is so we have had that room, door, yeah. Really? We have had that door open on its own. That door can be shut, and you will get it as clear as that knocking on the door. You will get that. We we have had that quite a few times in here. <laughs> then we will go out onto the landing. So if there's a few people here, so um, you will be live on Facebook if you get in the video camera if you're not bothered. Get me good side. This is the bathroom. <laughs> a lot of people do not like this bathroom. Now, up until recently, a lot of people always thought that oh, Joe died outside, he didn't, Joe died here in the bathroom, down on the bathroom floor. Quite a few people have picked up on it, others haven't. This place itself will feel pressing. I know certain of our team members will not come in this bathroom. They will not even come upstairs if the bathroom door is open. Dodgy, it stinks in here at the minute. Yeah. No, nobody's been put a dump or anything like that before <laughs> you want to add any wise comments there or anything <laughs> like that. But it really does smell really vile in here. Yeah, it's and it, it's, weird. It's not a damp, musty smell neither. It's a smell like you could go back to periodic, you know. Yeah. Yeah, water is a good conductor. We think this and the boiler room, what was literally the other side of these stuck cupboards here, when I first walked in earlier today, that my stomach just turned in. I just knew something negative, something bad. You and really and then, sick as yeah, well. Yeah, really. You get a dry mouth with it. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, what, about 15 minutes later, someone's got a scratch on the face, face. At the very face place yeah, where I felt like that, so... It's, uh, we have a lady in this room at the minute who's feeling a little bit... She's not right now, she's come out, Phil. Right. This is one of the it's other bedrooms. Again, this is one where all the decorating was done, isn't it? Mr. Paul, the guy, signed, didn't like the decor, he decided they wanted to rip the wallpaper off the walls, and they were all dancing about and everything else. This is also the room where, seven, eight years ago, everything was being chucked out of the window. So when did the decorating all get ripped off? Oh, this has been years back when, actually, Jean lived in the property. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we had stuff reported, window was actually open. And everything that was in it was just literally being chucked out. It took a neighbour over at road to come over and alert the next door neighbour what was happening. And he had to come back in and 
put all that stuff back in. Uh, Someone has just said this is uh, this is like the best episode of Homes Under the Hammer ever. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my, my, my friend Jason. This, Hello, Jason. <laughs> um, a, a certain lad who coming here who did a book on the property, he spent a good 18 months researching it. He actually sat on this bed one particular day. Um, he's a fair sized lad, but he didn't stop the, get, the bed getting picked up. Fully lifted. Yeah. Wow. Well. It sort of changes perspective on the property. Yeah. That's what made him want to come in more and do more. So, yeah. It does. It seems to make you more addicted when things happen. If you get more addicted to it rather than running away, I think. If you want a good read on that, the book's called "Don't Look Back in Anger" by Andy Evans. Yeah. And then we come into mum and dad's bedroom now. This place itself can be. One minute it's up, next minute it's down here, I'm after singing it balls off there, look. It's probably me because I'm live streaming, because uh, yeah. I'm just debunking that, guys, so yeah, you know. So we've got no spooks here at the minute yet. So this is the place where you just get the next feel. One minute you're high, the next minute you're low. Depression kicks in in this place, it plays with your mind here. But that's the East Drive for you. Yep. But again, I will say it's not just the house, it's the surrounding areas. Yeah. Philip's bedroom we've been in, but again, it's always the most active for me is Philip's. A minute we've got Ethereal running. Uh, these people are asking it questions, it is answering. I don't think anybody's feeling comfortable at the minute, are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> feeling very, very yeah. Yeah. It's always top of stairs. And I you feel a bit like dizzy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Headache. Yeah, headache. Yeah. Headache. Very heavy. Yeah. yeah. Dry mouth at all. Yeah. yeah. That's the negative side. That yeah. that's why when you walk in, if you feel a bit like that, it's and what, what a, a lot of people negative. don't know about this place. It has negative. a thing for blood. Yeah. Yeah. They move away from yeah. the stairs. Yeah. Like. yeah, I have no fear. Yeah, be Lungs. careful. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I have my own theory on that. This place. I mean the stairs. We showed the photos. It's in the photos earlier, didn't we? Top of the stairs with the Can you talk to ghosts? Can I talk to yeah. ghosts? Yeah. You get him to move that ping pong ball? You'll get him to move it. No, I don't. <laughs> Let me go get the cup. Where's your cup of tea? And that's basically you tour around the house. Is the of the oh, it smells in here, doesn't it? That's all we've got left of the mirror water at the bottom of the stairs. So this is part of the mirror what fell off earlier? Yep. Uh, not earlier today, but yeah. Oh, it smells very foisty in there, doesn't it? But it could be argued we have a lot of activity on the stairs because the main electric room. Yeah. Up that wall. Well, I tested the boiler room, by the way, guys, with the EMF detector and it was absolutely nothing was setting it off so because i thought it could have been possibly like a fear cage thing but it didn't actually so anything what makes you feel a bit uneasy in there can't be due to due to the electromagnetic energy or anything so this is what we have going on here today so if you want to come down it's five to get in all proceeds are going to macmillan cancer and kidney research get you sent down have a tour you'll enjoy it yeah. I'm guaranteed you will want to book on a visit with a reputable company. Yeah. So go for it. I'm feeling very, very. Right. Yeah, something's pretty negative upstairs. We're going to have a, a quick look and then uh, I'll speak to you all later. So thank you very much, you guys, for watching today and uh, come down to 30 East Drive, Pontefract in uh, Yorkshire United Kingdom mm -hmm. obviously uh, it's only for a few hours now but if you can come down it's a very good cause right thank you very much